Welcome to another exciting Timey Wimey Tuesday. Today we're going to be watching story number 135, Planet of Fire. Fire, fire, whole planet of fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. Burf. Bad. Hold it. I have to turn my other camera off here. Hold on a second. Boom. There we go. Now it's just a nondescript blur behind the TARDIS. Instead of a strange, evil clone of me with the backwards Doctor Who logo. Uh, where am I going here? Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Wormsies, can you repost the link, please? Oh, yeah. Wow. If we could, just for those who are late to the party, just to make sure that they all have some who to watch with us while we're watching who, you know, because who. I'm just going to wipe my nose real quick. Yeah. Don't trust mm. their lies. Mm. Don't trust they only them. want to hurt you. Don't believe I will take lies. care of you. You're all going to die down here. Butter it up, butter it up, butter it up, butter it up. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Doctor Butter. Doctor Butter. Doctor Butter. Oh, thank you, worm disease. Thank you. Doctor Give everybody a minute here just to queue up. It's a really, really hot, hot world. So hot. Spicy. I think you're trying to reference the mad, mad, mad world, but it's mad, 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 mad world. for hot. So it would be, right. it's a really hot, 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 hot world. Yes. Five hots or four hots? Five. Four. Four? Okay. Four hot. Mad, 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 hot mad hot. world. Hot, 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 hot planet. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, oh, you replace one with really? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. All right, fair enough. Really? Fair okay. We went with artistic license. There we go. Very good. All right, I am queued up. Is everybody else queued up? Mm hmm. Ready to rock and roll? Yep. Dive into deep space in the time space vortex continuum with the Doctor of Who? Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Part one of Planet of Fire. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Holy shit, that's loud. There we go. That's better. <laughs> we I had to turn it up for the previous thing we were watching, and uh, Doctor Who is just naturally loud, so. Yeah, I know I've, se I've seen this one before. Like, the first time it aired, I missed most of it, and I don't think I saw, saw it. But I saw it, like, years later in repeats. And I don't think I've seen it since, so it's been probably a good 20 years since I've seen this story. Look at these white guys wandering through. Recall that this one and the next one are considered uh, kind of the oh. creme, creme de la creme. You got of Lawrence this, of Arabia, Lawrence of Alabia, and the Beastmaster. <laughs> Lawrence of Alabia. Oh, okay. And the Breastmaster. There the, you go. The Breastmaster. Uh, I meant to say Lawrence of Arabia and the Beastmaster, but. Uh, okay. Acting said Lawrence of Alabia for some reason. Oh, okay. I just went with it. <laughs> hmm. 
But its film footage looks really clear. They must have the masters for it. I look forward to the Blu-ray. Oh, the young guy there. He's in the tripods. I recognize oh. him. I guess we'll you have to point him out again. I will. And watch that. I will. I'll say, he was in that Doctor Who episode. You won't shut up about it, so we have to watch it. <laughs> Jesus. The older guy's familiar, too. I don't recall where I've seen him. Of course him. he is. Well, you know, in Britain, in Britain, they only have, like, 12 actors, so... <laughs> you tend to see the same ones a lot. Well, at least they're back in the quarry, you know what I mean? I know, I miss oh, wow. I missed the quarry. <laughs> I can't make it through the rock quarry. <laughs> Go on without me. Uh huh. Now you're in bad shape when uh -huh. Steve Gutenberg is beating you up the hill. Hmm. Just more rock quarry. Good one. Your god is a lie. Meanwhile, somewhere not there, I'm guessing. Oh. It's an intergalactic dumbbell. That is a butt plug. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Just how distended is your rectum, Stoud? <laughs> wow. Made your trunk butt over here. <laughs> King of the gingers, king of the trunk butts. Got it. Oh, look how much more alert and attentive Stout is compared to an hour ago when we were watching that other show. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. You said it was garbage? <laughs> fucking dumpster fire? For those watching this years later, we were watching Legends of the Superhero, the famous primetime superhero special from 1979. All good things in the name of tradition. Always tradition, yes. Yes, traditions have always worked well for everyone. Absolutely. They've never been a problem. Never. Not traditions once in history. Not once. Things. History is full of tradition having nothing but positive benefits for all. Yep. Because at the heart of tradition is doing the same thing well, over and over again. Now that we've proven our God is a lie, insanity. let's go back to our people and speak all the kinds of blasphemy. You know, it's, <laughs> it's good. I'm sure they'll welcome us with open arms. Oh, uh, damn. Oh. oh, shit. Chameleon. Is this where he turns into Urkel and says, I've fallen and I can't get up? <laughs> Finally get to see Chameleon again. Haven't seen him since he first appeared. Could it be because he broke? <laughs> no, it's because the only guy who knew how to program him died. <laughs> Oh, 
A land of confusion? <laughs> a whole land of confusion. Hmm. Turlo seems concerned. Computerized. Damn computerization. It'll be the death of us all. Hello. British people trying desperately to sound American. Yep. They're American. Can't you tell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow, that sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad idea. That sounds like an oh, idea that... Let me start. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> that's... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna go off with these strange guys, I bet. To Morocco. Ah, Best stepdad ever. I mean, he's so American, you can tell because he wears jorts. That's right. Only Americans dress like that and talk like that. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> oh. There.
as if I would. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> He's being an asshole. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, he doesn't want you going off with strange boys to Morocco, so, you know, That's what an asshole. Idea. <laughs> it's a good way to just not end up alive and just yes, saying. Exactly. The Gary Oldman? Gary oh, Oldman will send a sea of fire from the mountain, that's right. I think they did a really good job of the costumes. Yeah, I like them a lot, actually. There's Eastern and Abrahamic religion like references here. Kind of a little, little bit of a mix, yeah. And a little bit of a, you know, like the headdress. Like Arabia. Yeah, like it's, yeah. it's a little bit of everything. Like I said, Lawrence Arabia and the Beastmaster. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hear our blasphemy! <laughs> I just feel like I'm watching an Italian movie, like, or a cannibal film. An Italian like cannibal film? <laughs> like, these, like, these guys feel like they're about to go to the Amazon and get fucking eaten by cannibals. And get eaten. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of Italian films recently, so... My brain's a little twisted. <laughs> What? <laughs> hmm. Doctor has a different vest on. Jeez, Kurt looking asshole, man. Mm -hmm. You just think he's an asshole because he wears jorts. And as we all know, <laughs> no, anyone who wears jorts is an asshole. <laughs> was, except for John Cena. Uh, it was it was clear he was just John glaring Cena. at him. Are you kidding? John, John Cena's Cena. probably a nice guy. Don't you guy, be dude. dissing he's John nice. Cena. That doesn't mean he's not an asshole. Yeah, don't know you. Like I know he looks like a weirdo with the hair, but you know, fuck you. You can be an asshole and not uh, be an asshole. Come on. Damn it! Don't go selling alien artifacts on the black market. Get torchwood oh, on your ass. You're here still. <laughs> Why do you have nipples? <laughs> so weird. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Damn, Turbo. So that I'm was is cold even for you. The evil ginger <laughs> is proving to be both evil and ginger. Excellent. That was amazing. You literally so just tortured the baby. robot. <laughs> ah, look at shit. Uh, I'm sorry. His screams of agony weren't agonizing enough for you. I was still like a crying <laughs> Heartless baby. Heartless bastard. <laughs> like a whiny baby that you took a piece of candy from. Because he's a robot. He's intelligent. You know. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Jesus, those shorts are so short. <laughs> short shorts. Well, it's Jesus. it's the eighties. Oh, they're like, I mean, his dick's not hanging out, so they could be shorter, but I'm just saying, like, they're pretty short. True. Oh, my God, he runs, he runs so... Where was this filmed? Definitely. This was obviously filmed on location like, somewhere. Oh my, let me just like this, uh, take off my... England has beaches. It's probably on a beach. Yeah, but this is, like, really beautiful ocean, like, the color and everything. Help, I've only got my own flotation device that I made myself and works perfectly fine. Help. Well, Michael, do you have the useless trivia we need to answer our question? <laughs> you're the person who knows, was you're the next it, person who knows on the location? Much. Yeah, you're the next person in line who knows a lot of Dr. I Z. thought, 
I read somewhere this is... Well, actually, you know what? I can just pull up one of my books here. Hold on a second. <laughs> Man, the, but will Michael figure it out before you? Uh, hmm. Probably. Uh, He's already got the booklet out. Anyway. He's been reading it for like five minutes trying to find the entry. entry. Oh, wait a minute. This won't have... Fuck, I need the other book. Hold on. Uh, there we go. The 25th anniversary one should have it. Really, Doc? for a second <laughs> after after dragging somebody who is drowning that far out you're, you're oh my goodness that man's throw their clothes up on the shore that man's shorts are all up in his crotch wow <laughs> that's a, a he's he's got a prodigious cock and you can tell who uh turlo no no oh that guy that guy yeah Oh, that yeah, guy. Look at his shorts. Look how loaded his... He's, he's packing a fucking... <laughs> oh, in, how loaded his package is? <laughs> yeah, he's got a big pistol in there, man. Okay, hold on. I think this just barely goes I far mean, enough. I mean, you know, to be honest, Turlo, yes, as much as I hate is. him, isn't like, you know, he's not like a shrimp or anything. And yeah, check out all the packages, obviously. Okay. Come on. Don't you? That is, uh, that is a future bad dragon dildo uh. waiting to happen. Speaking of that, Jesus, oh, really look at wait. that. Da, 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 da. Can well, it be? We're going to find out ginger. about Turlo's Michael hasn't even responded, so I have no idea what's happening. I don't know I'm if looking, he was paying attention or I'm he looking, gives a crap. Maybe he's like, eh. I'm looking. Aha. Did you find your charger for your, your laptop, Michael? It, no, it, he doesn't have it there. It's at his <laughs> other place. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's balls, man. I love the. I guess you guys missed it, but the way that he had hit it, the second the doctor came in, was the way that one get uh, reacts when they get caught when they're masturbating. Oh, what? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna let you know the pizza's here. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Thanks. I'll be down in five, uh, ten minutes. <laughs> Don't you know how to knock? <laughs> Shit. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, is this how they're getting around it? Smart. That is smart, yeah. Good well, because chameleon good. could change shape, right? Why does chameleon have, like, Terminator music following ah, now? What the fuck? The Lanzarote in the beautiful Spanish Canary Islands. There we go. I thought it was for ah, that, that location. Was owned by Britain, I think, at the time. Yeah. Right? So, location work. Yeah. Island scenery, yeah. Very nice. I thought so. That did not look like <coughs> British countryside. Welcome back, Michelle. Glad you could no. join us. Welcome back, Michelle. Episode one is uh, almost done, so you'll have to yep. open this really easily. We're part way, most of the way through. I haven't already one. queued up, of course. Uh. Oh, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're the new companions. Mm -hmm. Cool. Incidents. That is the weirdest set of binoculars I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I haven't even seen the whole thing. I already know it looks like a weird 
<laughs> rocket shaped thing. Uh huh. <laughs> Dr. Ofo. Mm -hmm. Well, quite literally that. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. Doctor Who becoming a prophecy once again. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Million, you son of a bitch. What the fuck? I Guess who? <laughs> As always. always. It's always the fucking master. <laughs> so, now that that's been revealed, I guess I can switch the stream pictures over to this screen. There we go. <laughs> so now be honest, did you did you spend a long time like aligning the TARDIS or did you just duplicate your the scene and that what? Did you like spend a long time aligning the TARDIS to no. the other scene or did you just duplicate the scene? I just duplicated the scene. Okay, good. Yeah. I just had this mad image of like you constantly just adjusting like going like back and forth minutes. and back and forth. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, but while we were watching that legend sing, you're like laughing. Ha, ha, ha. No, ha, no, no, no. Inside, I did inside that. you're screaming. No, you're dude. Like, I, I, did, I had that set up like 10 minutes after last week's Doctor Who episode. Like oh, I got okay. it set up right away. So I just thought yeah. it was really funny. You're sitting there like inside you're screaming. <laughs> no. And that's how you're just like shuffling at the stories where you're trying to line these two things going switching back and forth quickly like why? Why are you so it's one pixel? One pixel just going and No no. If you do uh it. if you copy like one element out of the display, you can paste it into another scene as a reference. And what it will do is it will actually place that object in the exact same spot as it was where you copied it from. So that that's what I did for the Doctor Who ones. Actually, no, I think I did a duplicate, and then I just replaced the pictures. So I remember this yeah. called the steps of Lawrence of Alabia. Lawrence of Alabia. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I'm just making sex jokes the entire episode. Yes, just absolutely. It's not my fault the big gold thing looks like a bad dragon dildo, all right? Yes. I'm just saying. <sighs> Very nice. All right, so we're pausing uh, briefly here just so everybody can get episode two queued up. And we'll probably jump right into it. Oh. Well, let me go take my plate again. One oh, second. Okay. Uno this is literally I'm just going to quickly check on my... Uh... Be behind this week's evil plot. Could it be the master again? So yep, heavenly. it's the master again. It's always the master. There's only one thing that I could say was kind of dull about Doctor Who. It's that the master is always the bad guy every single time. <sighs> I'm cute. Oh, he's gone. Of course. <laughs> I literally was gone for less than a minute. And, and Sean's gone. Okay. And he's gone. <laughs> just, just that bit. That's it. Doom. I like that the Turlo is being especially dickish. Story. So Michelle, have you done any effects for like or makeup for like movies? Or has your focus mostly been television? I'm curious. I'm gonna get you nosier. 
Because you let me. Because you, you keep you answering my questions. I don't know. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> well, I'm like, you know, I don't Like I always said, I'm, I'm used to people just going, like, I don't want to talk about that. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I, I just move on. Like, there's, there's no pushing the point, you know? Like, okay. I'm just a nosy fuck. I, I know I'm a nosy bastard. I know I ask too many damn questions, so. I don't know. I'm used to it. Ain't no thing. But a chicken wing. There ain't nothing, no harm in asking. The worst you can do is apologize if you offend somebody, and the worst they can do is be offended. and Or not tell you, like, oh no. It's not like I asked her what day her menstrual cycle starts. That's a fucking weird question to ask, you know what I mean? That's personal. <laughs> that would be weird. Please don't tell me. I don't want to know. Not even as a joke. <laughs> Please. Spare me. I was just saying, throw an example out there. Like, oh, that's too much impression. Yeah, I, know. I know! It's just my brain. It's stupid. It does things like that, alright? Deal with it. Pork chops. What? I know it's <laughs> shocking to everyone. <laughs> Missed half my conversation. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Ignore me, Michelle. I'm being stupid. Well, that's Hi. something different. Skin slip rambling and being stupid? That never happens. <laughs> never <laughs> once in the history never. of anything. Uh, uh, Alright, we ready on episode I asked, two? I oh, had sorry. asked if you had done any uh, movie work if you're, or if your effects and makeup stuff had been uh, focused on mostly television. That is just cute. Okay. Are we ready on episode that, two? And then I rambled on about some other crap I shouldn't have. So. Cool. Hi. Are we ready for episode two? <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. I was gone for less than a minute, and I came back, and you weren't here. That's okay. I was heating up food. You moving a plate reminded me that food exists, so it made me want some. <laughs> okay. All That's right. Point. Here we go. Part two of the Planet of Fire, Lawrence of Alabia. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Three, no, two, not really. one, play. Well, you know, we don't have nearly enough running gags as it is. We can always use a few more. Yeah. <laughs> we you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm very high right now. Don't worry. So high. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Hi, hi, new bidet. What? Yep, that's what he said. All right. I'm not even able to watch the fucker. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Oh, that's sorry. Sorry, dude. Bummer. Here it comes. Why is she screaming? I don't know. I don't understand. Because her stepfather's being weird and creepy. Now she should scream. Yes. Because she's like, why did you turn into someone else? That would mm -hmm. be scary. Good man. <clears throat> How very reasonable. Mm hmm. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> you still made a metal and confused. Hmm. No. <coughs> so is the master just controlling him? It's chameleon. The master's controlling him. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I thought they trained these places at first, and then she kicked his knee and his leg. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. That's mm -hmm. probably for people like me who are slow mm -hmm. and need an additional note. That yes. He's so lumpy and weird. 
Well, he's a real robot. He's not a special effect. <laughs> yeah, he has nipples, too. It's weird. Well, that's just how the designer designed him. And then fucking died, apparently. Not explaining what the fuck is going on with it. Wow. <coughs> What if the robot uh, killed its master? See? Master's chameleon circuit works. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the boys with the hair gets walk free! Mm. Sorry, I swear you said that was a thing. Well, given that Turlo has that same symbol on his arm, I know. I'm guessing he's the chosen one, and oh. this is where we last see him. Yay! Oh. No more Turlo. Maybe he'll get sacrificed. That's wishful thinking. They're Shut gonna up. Worship him. He's he's their god. Dude. I can think or wish or hope. Oh, I'm already getting Satan's slave. Right, I don't need this. Okay. No! Hmm. Hmm. It's like a half hour. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. He'll know. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Uh -huh. Oh, I mean, you put it that way. Okay. I'll just escape later, I guess. Why did you just say it like that the mm -hmm. first time? Like, you know. Oh, damn. Come with me or die. Why couldn't you just say it like that? It makes not got an option, mm -hmm. dick. Oh. Clunk. Yay, run away! Hmm. Uh. Yeah, definitely won't bust. That's the connection. Where... <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I got that this is another one of those stories where the people who live here are uh, like the descendants of a much more advanced culture. Ah. 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 That's why there's all that technology around and they don't know how to use it because uh -huh. it's past generations. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. It's only a few know how to use it, and they use it to keep the masses placated under the illusion that it's their god. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't get it. <laughs> We've seen this story before. Well, you see. <laughs> so his TARDIS fell over, and now he's still trapped. Losers. This movie's called Dr. Dracula. <laughs> Dr. Acula, I think, isn't it? Doctor, no, it's just Doctor Dracula. Really? Yeah. That sounds wrong. I think it's a different movie than the one you're thinking of. Hmm. Actually, it might be a character in a movie I'm thinking of. Doctor Acula. Yeah, it's spelled that doctor, the word, not the. I know oh. what you're talking about. Yeah. No. Hmm. Wow. Brutal. 
Sold on this movie. Uh. Really? I sworn your voice was carrying far enough, but okay. I know, right? <clears> hmm. <throat> doesn't seem fair at all. Mm hmm. What a lovely rock quarry. It is. Actually, I think this is a rock quarry in Spain. Oh. So it's an exotic foreign rock quarry. <laughs> Perhaps it used to be called Tryon, <coughs> but that was a long time ago. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> God damn it, sorry. Just keep tuning out of nowhere. <clears throat> <laughs> I like her. I like yeah. her a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like, so what? <laughs> I like headstrong ladies. Yeah, me say. too. Trying not to poop your pants? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Make a form of primordial <laughs> noise and you try to hold it's it. It's like, hold, mm. hold, hold. <laughs> Don't poop in pants. <laughs> my, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my, my, the scary one is when you're taking the pants off and you're about to touch down on the toilet seat and the poop's coming out and you're not even 
there's no gasket seal yet. Yes. And you're just afraid it's gonna hit the toilet seat before you do. <laughs> yes. Oh god, oh god, I, I don't care. The <laughs> and it wasn't until I hit 33 that I realized that those assholes who shat all over the wall of the bathroom in, in, in like Target probably weren't meaning to. Yeah. They were literally just probably fired off too soon. <laughs> <laughs> And then they didn't know what the hell to do, so they just ran away. What I would do. I was like, dude, someone shat all over the stall. It's yeah. fucking gnarly in there, and then would leave. Yeah. <laughs> and never go back God, to that store I'd feel again. So bad. I'd never go to that store again. <laughs> never. I will wait until there is a complete turnover of staff before I go back to that store. It'll be a minimum of five years. I'll tell you right now. Five years. The, the legend of the shit wall stall, and, and I will giggle knowing it was me. Yeah. <coughs> Yay. Maybe. Wow. Is that the sound of the rear wind? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, Michael got him off his laptop so before it died, so he's able to watch with us. Oh, yeah? So, Oh, nice. Transferred them over. We I got are... bad news for you. We're also, we're also doing 136. Yeah, no. so if you have that one, too... <laughs> Uh, get that one too. Get on. We're about 14 and a half minutes in, uh, Michael. Yeah. Good shit. Sorry, Michael. I should have told you a little sooner. I didn't know you were well, going to Well, we do didn't that know. Thing. I know. It's a metal man. I just feel bad if he dies. It's okay. Well, man. he might be able to still manage something. I don't know. We'll see. This was foretold. I know it. Everything was foretold. Tradition tells me. <laughs> Such a goober. Who? That is. Me. Oh, yes. Lovable goober. I didn't say lovable. Let's don't put words yeah, in Yeah, no, this is, this is definitely on location. The rocks are completely different from what you see in Britain. So, yeah, so they literally went all the way to Spain to film in one of their quarries. <laughs> It'll right? be completely That's different. That's you make when you have a bunch of rocks in your pants. Uh, I just don't understand Actually, I think they... this is up in a mountain somewhere. Like, you just see the scenery the master was looking at there? It's beautiful. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a perfect, uh, so that was a perfect, uh, 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 quantum lean moment. He turns the camera, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> okay, good. Michael's on the dot. Uh, just so you know, Michael, we're likely doing a double build tonight, so. I, yeah. Yeah. 135, 136. We did tell him. We did. I know. I promise. I know. Just to make sure there's no confusion. Can it be dead if it never how do you, existed? How do you prove something that doesn't exist? Yeah. Right? Yeah. If he doesn't exist, prove me wrong. Yeah. Prove that he does. I win.
Is it him saving it, them against his like code? Or the code of the doctors or whatever? Is he not supposed to interfere? Well. I mean, I know he's a rogue, but I'm just saying, yeah. like. Yeah. Isn't he not supposed to interfere with these things? Yeah. I mean, I would interfere too. Technically, because... yes, but I think this is a case where if I don't, then all these people will die. And if I'm in a well, I know, but I thought he's supposed to let then I'm gonna save nature take its course, right? Yeah, I know. Like, he's supposed to, even though. <coughs> I thought that he didn't believe in that, and then that's why he's like a renegade to his people, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, no, I'm gonna fucking help well, these it's people. Well, like, it's like in Frontios. Like, he helped them, but he said, just don't tell the Time Lords that I helped you. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't think he's too concerned about these people because they're not, obviously not a race that's going to be in contact with the Time Lords. Yeah, they're not likely but, to run into another Time Lord. Yeah. Time so, Lord. So, well, other than the Master. <laughs> but he's a rogue, too, so he won't give a shit either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who the fuck's he going to tell? Yeah. He's got, if he runs into them, he's got some other issues to deal with. You know? That's right. <laughs> Just show him your mm -hmm. fucking arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show him. Ha ha. There you go. There you go. <coughs> Okay, so maybe Sarn wasn't Tryon. Maybe they crashed there. Or he crashed there. Hmm. Meanwhile, Perry. <laughs> Everybody forgot about Perry. <laughs> I know. Poor lady. Oh. We didn't forget. We just, you know, didn't care. That's very true, Michael. Yeah. Just saying, cool to see the master in a dress suit. Haven't seen that since Delgado. Damn. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I just had one of those deflating farts. <laughs> so, felt real good, man. I'm, I'm sure. Lie. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Aha. I think Perry just stumbled across. Yeah. Across. So shit. Sweet baby relief. Uh, what? Cut that off the soul down. God damn it. Back into the desert we go, Perry. Let's go. <laughs> Can I rest for like 30 seconds? Nope. <laughs> you sacrifice the enemy. Burn everyone else first. <clears throat> I've never seen the burning, but is, is that kind of like the burning? <laughs> totally. I just, You've never seen the burning? Really? No, I've never seen the burning. Oh, I know. dude. My girlfriend was pissed off at me 
for not seeing it. She's like, how the fuck can you not see it? I'm like, I don't know. Yes. Kind of like you of yet, all man. people. <laughs> no. Like the DVD right. was hard as fuck to find. It's and it was good. out of print. And then the that Blu-ray, was, um... Blu-ray sucked balls, apparently. What? what and now there's about? that new Blu-ray that's amazing, apparently. That's what I, mean I didn't have any issues with the Scream Factory Blu-ray. I don't know what they're talking about. But... What are you that was do? uh oh i'm sorry i said the burning when i meant the wicker man fuck i oh i okay. own the burning Jesus oh, okay good don't the scare wicker me like man that I haven't seen. is that like, like the wicker man i was like what the fuck was wrong with the burning <laughs> that's a great blue i think that's like the wicker man when they like oh, okay i i know how they i know that the, what they do with the wicker man object they Put somebody in it and they burn it. Like it's I, like I feel, a yeah, like an effigy, but like with a person thing. in it. I don't. I have nothing. Nothing about the movie. I surmise the main character is the one who gets put in it because yeah. I saw the gif of the bees put on Nick Cage's head. So I'm assuming it happens in the remake. It probably happens in the original. So, but I don't know what happens in the original. Yeah. So. I just I assume so, he needs a bad end. I want to intro. I'm so okay, wait a minute. So have you seen the burning? I own and have seen the burning yet. Okay. <laughs> I have not seen the Wicker Man. With uh Oh, what the fuck is the bad guy in that one? Um Cropsy? Cropsy. Cropsy, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. You need to see Killer Legends. It's a, okay. oh, shit. It's a documentary Pausing. about the Cropsy legend. Oh, okay. Legend. Like the actual yeah. legend? Yeah. It's based on? Cool. Yeah, I really it's liked uh, I really liked the burning. It's also about Yes, the movie Cropsy is also really. Land of Fire Three, a fire in Dillhole Mountain. The movie Cropsy is not a true documentary, though. The found footage horror film slash documentary. Oh, okay. It's not entirely factual, and the what two is characters. Not entirely factual. It's one hundred percent factual. And the two character, the two characters slash directors, go to the place of Cropsy and then like get all freaked out, and it's like a. Oh, okay. I don't know. I like the I like the movie, but it's not a documentary. It's a docu found footage horror hybrid. There's no, documentary stuff, documentary. and then there's found footage hybrid stuff. So it's like, no you know. documentary. <laughs> Whatever, man. You're just being a troll. <laughs> God, stop. That's don't you ever stop. No, no, I don't. I don't know how to stop. Hmm. You're responding to a comment, aren't right you? You at least owe us a, res- a, a dramatic reading of this exchange. What? Well, uh, making sit here listening to you type. I just want to hear him say. No, I can't. Yes, I was sending a, I I was sending a to PM to Worm Disease, actually. So, Worm Disease, if you could read your PMs there, just to. Fuck. It's purely a precaution. Oh. I don't think you would do anything like that, but it's purely a precaution, just to make sure. What are you? What happened? It doesn't matter. Nothing. It's okay. It's good. The fuck? It's all cool. Everything's fine. Well, no, you can't. <laughs> what? No, you can't do sure this can. to us. No, what I just, I, I just a quick it note, will. just to make sure that you know the the titles are kept just silly and funny and don't actually oh, unintentionally spoil anything. Fantastic. So, I got yeah, it. okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's I all. Understand. Just okay. want to. I mean, so far they haven't. So, so far they have it, but I just wanted to just take okay. that precaution just to make sure it's and just say, about that. keep it funny and silly and don't accidentally I think spoil I've ever, it. I think I've only ever <laughs> warned him once for a spoiler, so I mean, like, he's pretty good about it. Uh, 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 creative in how you explain it. You can make a double entendre that, will, uh, that I will understand later in the episode. That's acceptable. That's too big enough careful about that. Oh. 
Say the on-stream turtles are way cuter than the my 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 in-stream turtles, my in-chat turtles. The what? Which ones? The on-stream turtles are way cuter than the on in, my in-chat turtles. Oh, they are different, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, the ones in the chat, like on the screen, are a different color. They're like green and yellow, or green and like kind of off green, a little bit of orange there, I think. And then the ones in the chat are just green. <laughs> Couple different shades of green. That's that's it. Well, and Weird. you can change your icon set, so I have an even different turtle than you. Oh, even my turtle's all green. Even more differenter. <laughs> my mine's just too different <laughs> green. Well, I yeah. have the. Uh, oh, you can't see it, but I. I have the monkeys chosen as my emoticon set. Yeah, so do I. Oh. It's not There's the no ones. You, it's not the one you see on screen, yeah, though. Rip. See, that's the ones that I have on my. Streamlabs, which is just the regular turtles. Yeah, those are just green and green. Yeah. yeah. And then this is how they appear in the right. chat on screen, is okay. that. So, so we had the same emote set, because yes. we had to see the same turtle. Okay. Correct, yeah. So I think it's just the uh, the chat uh, thing that I have uses a different set. Yeah, it's probably uses the default. I don't know. It's a different font, actually, than the usual one, too. So I think it's... Yeah. Just all customized it's also running, for the... Since it's typed in through the web, it might be running on a completely different operating system, too. I don't know. All I know is that I like... like the, that could be the Linux emotes, for all we fucking know. Since it's typing through, you know. Who knows, man? Because it's using a, their, their live service to pipe through to give you all the cool effects and shit. And, yeah. So I don't know. I'm just saying. Who knows? I'm ready with this episode, by the way. Okay, I am also yeah, ready with this episode. Fire on Dillhole Mountain. Fire <laughs> on Dillhole Mountain. Here we go. That says in Dillhole oh, Mountain. In. In Dill. Fire in the Dillhole Mountain. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Part three of the Planet of Fire of Dillhole Lawrence of Alabia Mountain. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. There we go. Alright. So this uh, story in which we're finding out about uh, Turlo, where, where Turlo comes from and his people <coughs> and stuff is written by uh, Peter Grimwade who also wrote Modern Undead, which was the story that introduced Turlo. So this so interesting it's little connection him, there, right? Huh? So it's gonna be full circle for him, right? He's gonna walk off the show today. I don't know. I guess you'll well, find out. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping. I, it's just wishful thinking. You know what I mean? Wishful. Hey, please, that turtle like, go. Oh, I want to see like, him burn in the fire. Yeah, fuck Turley. <laughs> whatever whatever Turley. his fucking name is. God. He's not gonna burn in a fire though. He's well, that's because gingers die. can't he burn. Has... He doesn't, he doesn't have to because they are made of fire. Look, he's <laughs> he going pull... to become the leader of these great people. He doesn't have to die. He can just pull Lane Tenrix and just walk up some stairs, man. He doesn't have to die. He just has to go away. Yeah, walk up some <laughs> stairs and never be seen again. Yeah. Right. Just do 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 do. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Everything <No>. burns. Mm. <laughs> I ate. Why was my Why last meal spicy? Us? What? What? What happened there? Mm. Like, why was my last meal spicy food? <laughs>
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Getting fucking schooled <laughs> by the doctor who does his goddamn research. That's right. When? I don't know. He's just good like that, I guess. Well, the doctor pays attention. <laughs> Takes an interest in people and things. Pays more attention than me. Master's just out for his own ends. No! You just shot the chosen one, you asshole! God damn it. Wow. Wow. What a dick. Hell yeah, you know it. Yeah, maybe you should have listened and not believed in some guy you just fucking met. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> Believe in the other guy you just fucking mm. met. I mean, seriously. <clears throat> Such a poor judge <clears throat> of character. Yeah, you're a little obsessed with the, uh, doctor, huh? So yeah, uh, after this uh, this uh, story, I had to take a poop. Okay. So there will be a definite break between stories. If we choose <laughs> okay. Poop. We will have or a poop. Or we decide poop. to only do one. A I don't care. Break. Just saying. We have time to decide while I poop for thirty minutes. I'm ga I woke up at like four o'clock this afternoon, so I'm game for another one after this. I'm trying to reset my clock, so I'm game for as late as I can keep my eyes open. Sweet. I just drank a soda at fucking 1.41 a.m. I'm ready to fucking roll, guys. Oh, well, there you go. That's why I was like, let's do some fucking Batman. Let's, let's do just, a, just, just a shit ton of movies. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and, like, smoke weed and cry and listen to sad music. There you go. Well, I think this, See, that's is, the alternative. this is better, yeah. This yeah. is more fun. I got all my items picked out for the Vinegar Syndrome sale. Excellent. In 10 days. Stop shooting everybody. <laughs> Holocaust. 
Man, they love to use that word when the stakes are high. <laughs> no, they love to use that word Holocaust. when they're hurting a lot of people. <laughs> that too, sad man. Didn't damn you, your logic. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you and your logical logic. Logical logic. Logic sucks. Some, that's some heavy shit to deal with. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Ha ha. God damn it. <laughs> Ow. I don't understand why I didn't go around like with his sleeve rolled up, just like, hey everybody, look, look, look. <laughs> I'm a chosen one. I'm a chosen one. <laughs> just keep his sleeves just rolled up all the time. He he's just, like in conversation. You're talking. He's kind of flexing. He's doing this and like yeah. flexing his arm, kind of <laughs> towards yeah. you, like just hoping you'll notice, say something. <laughs> oh, I see you're a chosen one. Uh, oh. Hubba hubba. <laughs> oh, there we are. You would love the evil master. <laughs> Gullible Michael, idiot. You would. Yeah. I know, right? Oh, dude, I just now noticed that. the suspenders on the doctor. And I, I like want how them. the walls are black. I want the doctor's question mark suspenders so bad. <laughs> Dude, I want question mark suspenders and a super long scarf so far. That's, mm -hmm. that's my ultimate doctor outfit. <laughs> combination of all your favorite bits and bobs from all the other doctors. That's right, man. Why not, right? Let my people go! I mean, the you doctor, shall go! Not pass. Okay, fine, you're a king now. Yeah. <laughs> 
very much. <laughs> oh god. That is the worst joke. Um, Stat, I'm gonna post the worst joke ever in shit post for you. <laughs> Cool. So you're gonna you're gonna want to retweet this one. It's the doozy, my friend. Okay. I love it, aren't I? Mm hmm Careful stable. Oh, that's the thing she gave to Turlo. Wait, you're stabbed to read the <laughs> Scrolling down. <laughs> I told you. Okay. I told you. I was like, I saw that and was like, oh, Stad, Stad needs this in his life. Alright. Be hilarious. So those of you watching this five years from now, uh, I guess you'll never know what that joke was. You're welcome. Okay, here you go. You ready? <laughs> I can't believe... Wait, 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 wait. Wait for the break okay. between episodes, for fuck's okay. sake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to remind you and I'll forget. All right, I'll remind you. <coughs> no. Yeah, sorry, you said that once before and I didn't obey you then, so it makes me think I'm going to obey you now. What if I haven't done obey you? Did you kill me? But then why do you need me to obey you? Why don't you just do it? <laughs> I I don't understand. Like, yeah. I don't want to die, but like, you're. Why are you make me do it? Does it get you off? Or oh, something look at that! Ago? That's the first time we've actually seen <laughs> the effect of the tissue compression eliminator. Oh yeah. You actually, see it shrinking something. This cow man, is that you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, I thought that was in the sound effect at first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you sound like a Doctor Who Not sound that. effect stab. Come on. I was like, whoa, that was a cool sound. Oh, stab me. Never mind. To start. <laughs> no. Well then. Better. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> the spacesuit. Oh my god, it's making me. I don't want to sign into that one. Why? Why are you making me sign into fucking shit? I didn't. I just want to check my email. You fuck. My password. That better be my password because I don't remember my fucking password. Okay, good. <laughs> Shit. Everybody pile in. Yeah, it's amazing. Hurry up, get in. <laughs> get in the fucking vehicle. Unless you want to die. <laughs> I 
Sounds like Jesus to me. He gonna love you, like him or not. He love you anyway. Some kind of rejuvenating effect. Like the sacred flame of. K I S S I N G. Uh, you get the master in. Karn. The sisterhood Karn? of Karn. They were Karn? guardians of the sacred flame, which was part of the Time Lord's power of regeneration. Uh, we met them way back in Tom Baker's early era in a story called The Brain of Morbius. I think I remember part of that. It was the one that was kind of based on Frankenstein, actually. But, um, hmm. Karn. Sarn. Hmm. It. Wonder if there's a connection it's there. so hard not to connect them. Karn. <laughs> Sarn. It, or perhaps it. it is, in fact, the same deity that has changed over I don't them. think it's the same, but they had the sacred flame on Karn that would give them, like, uh, it would melt the sort of uh, some kind of crystalline thing. It would melt and turn into an essence that they could drink to rejuvenate themselves. So I wonder if this is something similar to that. Karn is in Karn Silver, silver, silver Golem. Good lord. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite magic cards. K A R N. Karn. Yes, Karn. Karn. That's, that's what I said, Michael. Karn. 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 K A R N. Karn. That's Karn. Yes. Karn. 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 Yes. Karn. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> Things. Reasons. Fine, I'm an evil ginger. <laughs> Jesus, ginger's gonna save us. Heck, you see with the master. <laughs> Skin slip was letting out some blue flames earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Cool, man. Sorry. Oh, Karn. Interesting. I feel like I'm shitting blue coal, that's for sure. <laughs> blue coal. Comes out burning. The world's finest anthracite. <sighs> yeah, run around. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh, uh, Very smart. She's already figured out the door control. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. It's not that fucking Doctor Who trivia, Michael. It's not measure what? my dick. My ah, dick. It's not... You're missing important things here. Doctor Who trivia dicks, all right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I like the doctor's orange creamsicle pants. Yes. Um, you were saying traces of some kind of gas that's useful for a Time Lord that's having difficulty regenerating. It's past gas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> time Lord gas must really uh, stink. Time Lord Oh! Oh, oh, how tiny you are! He got shrinked. 
I just poke him. Like, what? That's sorry, a what cute little. Thing? Oh, sorry. What was Open that? What, what were you Open saying? <laughs> just pick him up by the arm, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, I can fit you in my pocket. Grab my leg upside yeah. down, put in the pocket upside down. Shove like a, <laughs> like a handkerchief on top of him. He'll be like, oh. <laughs> So well, I don't even know the name of the machines that give Time Lords regeneration energy. And I was Loons like, I don't know, Michael. Name, it's, not no tri- med- it's not wasn't that... trivia dick measuring time. Well, well, speaking of it, wasn't that kind of what the uh, guys in Modern Undead were trying to tap into? A machine like that? Can't remember. <laughs> no one cares. Yeah, no one cares to measure the tri- Doctor Who trivia <laughs> Doctor dick. Who trivia dick. It's yeah. cool. You know a lot of trivia. Congrats. Fire of Fire Part 4 The Master and His Robo Sex Slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, good lord. Alright. Let's give everybody a minute to get I mean, what? Queued up here. <clears throat> don't, don't forget to tell Sean the joke. Alright, the joke. Alright. Okay, what was the joke? Okay. La yeah. la la. Am I still so in sync? Good. Okay. I, I can't believe Disney's Cars is almost 13 years old. Old enough for a car mitzvah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. I was like, oh, I read that. I was like, that's oh. stout joke. That right is there. a stout dad. <laughs> dad He's stout joke of one. dad. Yes. <laughs> car mitzvah. Good lord. He's going to want to retweet this. Hold on. I got to post this tweet. <laughs> He's going to want to share this. <laughs> Everywhere. Could have read out loud, but decided uh, I think you're gonna want to retweet this. Uh, I need to pee. I'll be right back. That's a good idea. I'll be right back. First. <laughs> good luck, everyone. Yes, we will be back soon. Ish. Eventually. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Ugh. Teeny tiny little. Oh my, everybody ran away. Okay, I'll go pee then. Guessing skin slip had to run away and poop. Is that uh, is that correct? He run off to poop, just couldn't hold it. I'm guessing is that uh, is that what happened. Greetings, strong and sad. While we're watching some Doctor Who, uh, we're just about to watch the final part of story number 135, Planet of Fire, and then. Uh, We'll be watching, uh, we're going to be taking a bit of a break, and then we're going to watch, we're going to do a double build tonight. We're going to watch The Caves of Androzani, uh, which is story number 136, um, after this. It's a good one. So, yeah. It's so quiet. Everybody ran away. Uh, 
out. Are you there? You have kids that are saying, awesome, perfect. So good, you're in good shape for for the double bill then. Excellent. Excellent. Was that, was that poop? What? Did you go and poop? No, I'm going after this episode. Oh, where'd you go? Going between stories. Oh, I thought you just like couldn't hold it and just ran off. I was like, fuck oh, it, I have to poop. No. No? Okay. no, I'd just go for that. I wouldn't have oh. said anything. Oh, okay. Good. You would just see me disappear. And I would come back 30 minutes later and I'm like, where did you go? I'm shitting, sorry. Alright, and Stout Man has disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. He went to go pee. Oh, he went to go pee. Oh, here he comes. I think I hear him. Probably grab something to snack on his way back. I, think I hear him. But he has all his snacks in his room, doesn't he? His fridge and everything? Not, not everything. Oh, okay. I'm sure he's got like some frozen thing somewhere else or whatever. Alright. Uh, or not, I don't know. Um, it's gone. Huh? Huh? Welcome uh, back, Stoud. I know that despondent sigh anywhere. <laughs> despondent? I never wanted to intentionally see a hey, game over stream snake. before, but the one for Sonic 3D Blast is freaking cool. Okay, random. But I'm horribly cool. depressed, buddy. How are you? Clearly <clears throat> suffering from insomnia. Yes. yes Sorry indeed. to hear that, Sam. So we're uh, we're just about to watch part four here. Warm to you. Can we post the link, please? I got it. Okay. There we go. So that's that's the, that's the link for those of you who need it. And Michael confirmed he does actually have the next story on hand, so. He's okay oh, for the double bill. There'll be a 30-minute break where Brandon shits his guts out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm probably going to put some food away and stuff and maybe prepare the... Uh, I don't know if my pork... I've got, like, the equivalent of three pork roasts in the slow cooker right now with, uh, with wow. three cut-up onions. It's, like, just How packed. How many is your slow cooker? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can usually can fit, fit a, a turkey in it. I can usually fit. No, I can't fit a turkey in it. Can you fit a whole chicken in it? I could probably fit a couple of chickens in it, though. Okay, like, so you've got like a like a big like a ten quart. It's a good size. Pitch. It's a good size. I is can it, use. Does it weigh twenty five plus pounds? Well, well, maybe not that much, but it's it's heavy. Okay. I mean, like the actual ceramic pot part yeah, of right. it is pretty heavy, but. Uh, uh, it's a I, I, clean too, isn't it? Not really. I mean, as long as you kind of soak it, and then uh, I just kind of scrape out the caked on bits, and then I throw it in the dishwasher. The dishwasher cleans it, no problem. Oh, right on. The ceramic pot part, anyway. The rest I have to wash by hand, obviously. But uh, but that's where the most of the mess is. The most of the mess. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we ready on part four? <laughs> Andrew yeah. Zani, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Is that the name of the next story, Caves of Andrew Zani? The Caves of Andrew Zani, yes. Story so number one thirty-six. So that's where Andrew Zani Major's name comes from. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm glad I finally figured that mystery out. That is correct, yes. Cool. Yes. And when he sees that, he'll, uh, you know... I'll be like, oh, excellent. It's like, oh, he watched it. He finally knows where I got my name hi, from. Hi, Andrew Zani Major. Leave yeah. a comment saying, hi, skin slip. Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> it's your best uh, viewer impression. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good. It's actually one of my favorite, well, one of my many favorite classic era stories. But it's, uh, I think it's one of the best stories of the 80s era. Um, definitely, like, top five for the 80s era. So, looking forward to seeing it again and sharing it with you guys. Oh, yeah, Michael, my body's all fucked up, dude. All right, let's finish off Planet of Fire so Skin Slip can go poop. <laughs> well, I mean, people are like, oh, why do you, you, why do you get to sit home and make as much as I do and I work all the time? Like, I'm in constant discomfort, motherfucker. I can't like, sit comfortably. You want to be in constant pain in exchange for money? Because, you know. I look put it this way. I can't sit comfortably, and I can't stand comfortably, and I can't lay comfortably. So yeah. I wake up every two hours. Yeah. And then I have problems with my bladder, my bowels. Yep. And like a He's a fucking things. mess, people. He's a mess. I have 
I have severe head trauma in my past. Like, I have yeah. issues, my guys. Like, yeah. trust me. He's not just... I can't fucking work. ...leeching off the system of being a lazy butthole. He is legit in constant pain, I mean, so... Some days I am totally being a lazy butthole. Because, like, yes. some days I'm feeling fine. Yeah. But then there are other days where I can't do damn things. Like yeah. today. There's no way I could have streamed myself today. I don't have the That's okay. wherewithal to be with all the, the wherewithal. That's a great. Th you know, the first place I ever heard that term wherewithal was looking <laughs> at a segment of a script for an episode of Babylon Five, written by Joe Michael Swiczynski, and he was talking about. I think it was Sheridan was sitting on his bed or something, and he had to get up and do something. And there was a line in there that says he doesn't quite have the wherewithal to put on the second shoe. I was just like, wherewithal? What Fuck, a great man. term. I have been <laughs> that, I have been that fucked up. Like, where I just, like, I look at my pants on the floor, I'm like, no. <laughs> I just, no. Yeah. I just, sometimes you just look at, like, I have to go pee, but, like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just lay here and go back to sleep for a couple more hours. Yeah. Like, it's, it's bad. Like, um, yeah, well, and sometimes that's uh, the best thing you can oh, do is say, just go back to sleep and just, you know, let your body do what it needs yep. to do, you know, and your mind. Like, I explain it to, like, I explain it, like, yeah, I think I earned my barely enough amount, enough money to live amounts of discomfort, yeah. I think I've earned that. Alrighty. Because, you know, it's not like I'm making a lot of money here, you know. Well, no, not, not at all. I mean, you're barely getting by. I'm doing my best. All right, so shall we conclude yeah. the Planet of Fire with star Ooh. starring Mini Master? <laughs> Mini Master, he's so little, lives in a box. He's got the blue flame like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, excellent. Stout does not approve. Okay, everybody queued up. Part four, ready to go. Yeah, this is pretty bad singing. Thank you. Well, it's was kind of meant to be but okay good i'm glad i succeeded no but like yeah me never do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna run. are you ready <laughs> i'm waiting a new motherfucker i'm waiting i'm ready okay here we go let's do this three two one play i get to poop in 25 three minutes yay I'm so happy yay. also the clock episode. is ticking it's a doomsday device. It will make skin slip poop in 23 minutes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Planet of Fire. Yeah, I actually have very little recollection of this episode. Like, most of it has not rung very familiar to me. Like, I... Maybe I didn't see the whole thing before. That's entirely possible. Why would you only watch part of this story? Well, if it was so being far, shown... it's the best one we've ever seen. If it was being shown episodically, I might have missed the next part. <laughs> no, I'm just going to dump you on the floor. <laughs> oh, excellent. Nice. Like, oh, is that so? You just shake the whole building. Like, hey. <laughs> so I say, like, oh, you really? Uh, you like that, Master? You like that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you just pick him up by his jacket. Like, man, you need to Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Clothes. That's awesome. Little mini like, master like, scurrying across the floor. <laughs> you just pick him up by his shirt collar and you take his pants off. Oh, your pants came off. <laughs> what a shame. You just, like, embarrass him. Oh. Uh. Oh, take it both his hands. You're like, oh, you're dancing, you're dancing. He's like, I hate you. <laughs> I'll make you pay for this. Hmm. Here, buddy. Don't pay for your insolence. No. Yeah. <sighs> Flick him in the balls. Yeah, just push him over. I mean, like. It'd be so much fun to fuck uh, with him at that point. I'd have no guilt. He's an asshole. Coded circuit release key. There it is. Dude, if you flicked him in the balls, that would hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get 
that. Interesting name. <laughs> That's the healing flame. Burning love. Fire. Oh, 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 I see they. I see they have blue coal. <laughs> I love. I love this. I love this and little master scurrying around back. trying to escape God. from Perry. Damn it! It's that episode of really uh, convenient sneeze. Convenient sneeze. Convenient for the master. God. What a Hey, really everybody, let's all stand in the fire. Whee! What fun! <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wow, we got out of there just in time. In <laughs> there's a fire. Yay, Malcon's back. Hole. He's okay now. He's healed. You hear a shot like, oh, how amusing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but I thought, motherfucker. Great. Yeah, I went to Cyber Superhuman <laughs> Cyber Cyber Samurai uh -huh. Cyber Squad lane there for a minute. Uh huh. Oh yeah. It kind of reminded me of there's that episode with uh, the third Doctor, where they're inside uh, machine. And they're like walking around on the circuits and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, ever have one of those That's parts cute. that is just like struggling to get to the cusp so they can fart it out? Yeah. It's happening right now. Awesome. Like, come on, I gotta fart. <clears throat> if I push, I'll shit myself. So I just go, like, come on. Come on. I'm trying to coax it to just naturally bubble up to the sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing this for earlier. I was like, what? Okay. Shake I loose. think we're missing important things here again. No, Strong said, chat's just slow because we're watching fucking Doctor Who, man. Yeah. We're watching the episode. It's all good. Well, yeah, we're all just watching the episode, dude. <laughs> I notice the chat all the time. It's okay. It's all right. There's something to live for. Yeah. Jesus told me so. Doctor Who told me so.
Hello. Fuck you, Michael. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, wonder how turtles. That's just do. rude. Okay. Yeah, actually, this uh, season generally has had really good music in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really digging the the, the radiophonic workshop. And once they hit the, the the eighty one, the music just jacked up into A plus territory. Like, there's rarely been a bad episode for music wise. Oh, know? I know. There's been a few episodes that was kind of sparse in music, to be fair, but there's been a few, yeah. That's how they save money, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> uh oh. It's begun. Begun thought? Oh no, wait, that's something else. Yeah. That's not good. Mr. Loud Pants to you. <laughs> Mr. Loud Pants? Well, let me know. Those pants are appropriately loud. Of course. <laughs> they fit his personality wonderfully. Absolutely. They are orange creamsicle pants. Yes. I know. And they're like pinstripe, too. Yes. Like best of both worlds and it's like an off creamy white so it's like vanilla ice cream and creamsicle swirl yes yeah, so it's very you know inoffensive i want to get those pants now i want ice cream now god damn it <laughs> <laughs> oh. i want peaches and cream ice cream yeah. i want ice cream that looks like doctor who's pants <laughs> yeah. exactly that's that's right you oh. got it oh 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 He's communicating zero, with Tryon. There's a lot of obliques in there. I'm guessing that means zero. Or O. Mm. Oblique. No. I'm jealous for him disease. I can't have real ice cream. I miss it. Uh. You can have sherbet though, right? Yeah, sherbet's awful. Uh. <laughs> How about yogurt? Just... Ugh. I like yogurt. There's gluten free ice cream I get that's oh, okay. like ice cream like product. Oh. Made with yeah. almond milk. And it's so good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Damn. To the station that I so much want us to have noon. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I like I like almond milk, but this is almond milk ice cream. It tastes exactly like ice cream and the same texture and I was like amazed. Almond milk. Okay. I've never had almond milk. Pizza, so gas mm. from the, from the uh, garlic. Oh. Hello. 
<laughs> Hi, tiny you. Hmm. <laughs> really, BBC? You couldn't lock off the other camera? Come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Reasons. Apparently. I mean, it's not like they're moving. Just lock it down. Unless it's improperly, well, actually, what that could be is um, improperly um, mastered footage, and there's telecin wobble that hasn't been improperly removed. No, no, there's no telecin either. That was all video. Not for the for the original shot, though. Yeah, it was a video composite shot. Oh, I thought it was a done live. Composite. Oh, two cameras. Yeah, never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> the one non-shrunk suit. <laughs> All right, there you go. They totally won't recognize your face through the visor. <laughs> low gar low 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 low, low gar <laughs> holy fuck it's almost three in the morning I guess we'll do this Batman movies tomorrow yeah no worries thought it was gonna be like one by the time we got to this point that's okay we'll watch the other Doctor Who but I'm still up for that just so we're clear okay good <laughs> I just gotta poop. So I'm definitely down for a double bill of who. It's a nice break from all the Batman stuff. <laughs> yes. But I'll still accompany with those with those Batman cartoons. Sure. Like, yeah, we can watch those tomorrow. If you like. Uh, yeah. Depends on when to get on. I have a bunch of shopping to do around 4 p.m. I have to go get more weed and some food all right. and get a new ID. So that'll be a hour or two but I don't know what time you decide to start streaming but in the evening for sure we can totally get down with that alright we'll, uh, we'll see we'll play it by ear yep yep I'll just work on videos during the day worst case scenario we do it after 11pm when I'm done talking to the girl yeah. 10pm whenever she's done I can't stay up usually. super super late tomorrow because uh, Rosie has her track and field thing on Thursday morning so oh. definitely want to be there for that Yes, you do. Yeah. Gotta be super dead. I told her I would try, so she doesn't know if I'm gonna be there, but I'm definitely gonna be there and surprise her. Damn. Yeah, she's very happy if you show up, you know. Oh, I know. I know. I like to be a supportive daddy. I know, but it's still a hard thing to do. I know. No. We did. Oh. Damn. Shrunk to death. Mm-hmm. Ripped chameleon. All because they couldn't figure out how to operate him. Pretty much, yeah. It's unfortunate. 
The poor chameleon actually lived quite a tormented life. <laughs> I know. Tragic. Just constantly in uh, thrall of other people. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, I gotta poop, guys. Just heads up. We're almost there. You can make Ooh. it. Jesus, smells like a cat. You got like five, there. literally five minutes. I know. I swear Fine. I can smell that from here. <laughs> coming out. I don't know, man. I changed my drawers after that one. <laughs> Not because I got shit, because it just smells in there now. Yeah, it's, it's been sullied. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we we were talking we were talking about yeah the chameleon couldn't be operated because no one knew how to fucking function it after the creator died. Yeah. Tardis is on its way. Charlo is going off poor, with the captain. Poor chameleon had a poor tortured life because of it. Yeah. Stand there, cry like a baby, get <laughs> manipulated, you know, like, damn it. I know, it was oh, no. brutal. The master's back. Stayed there. Stayed there too long. Damn. Wow. Damn. Oh, the doctor just sat there and watched. He literally yeah, just watched well, the doctor or the master burn. He knows if he pays him, he's just gonna try to kill him again. Yeah. Yeah. He just he did the right thing. It yeah. sucked. It probably hurt the whole time. It's pretty brutal. Well, that motherfucker would have done the same to him. Yeah. Without thought. But it's not something I would have expected the doctor to do either way. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Whoa. Mm. Is that a spoiler, Michael? I don't know. What? Oh, really? So that was all the way back there? Interesting. Ha! Ah. Former political... So there's a new government on his home planet. Former political prisoners Yay. are pardoned. Yeah. Further adventures of Lawrence of Arabia hmm. and the Beastmaster. No slide spoiler? Okay. Is that not canon then at any point? No. And so okay. went the only uh, companion that every Doctor Who fan hated. <laughs> is, is there a reason why I'm they assuming, do keep that I'm line? Because it's stupid. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you don't think that M being his brother wouldn't be I, cool? I think it's unnecessary. 
Yes. I think that's cool. Okay. In an able man since we've gone to time. Yeah, I know. I prefer Sherlock and Moriarty, though. And Cain and Abel. They could be brothers, too. The third home Shish. brother, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's so perfect. There you go. Welcome to the show. This is going to be yep. typical. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> the entire time. So there you go. You get relaxed. Turlo's finally gone. And now we have Perry. Good old Perry. And, and then now the master is behind everything again game begins. Again. That's right. Again. And the master is totally dead. We'll never see the master again, ever. Because you, you saw him die. So he's dead now. No, he found a way out of it. We all know he did. <laughs> he's the master. Hey, where did I put the episode? Oh, I put my I'm gonna get these episodes <sighs> queued, and then I'm gonna go from a poop. Masters like Jason Voorhees. He always comes back. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. But see, I, I like I, like I like the fact that they got Peter Grimway back to write the script for this one. So it's like he wrote the one that introduced Turlo, and he also wrote the one that Turlo leaves mm. in. Mm. Yeah, there's a nice so, little symmetry to that. There's a nice symmetry Whoa. to it. Also the fact that he was able to conclude himself the mystery that he had started. Namely, who is Turlo? Where is he from? What's his past? So he was able yeah, yeah. to... You know, do all that. So we got some hints of it in, like, some of it in uh, Frontios, where he was remembering, had, had sort of race memories of the Tractatas taking over, or like invading a colony of his people. But then this one, we really found out where he was from and what was going on and stuff like that. Excellent. I'm going to poop now. Good. Enjoy. We'll see you back here after. So we're just going to hang and chillax for a little bit, and then we're going to watch story number 136, The Caves of Androzani. Yay. <laughs> Stout is the most enthusiastic man on Earth. So we've got 25 more stories to get through, right? Yes, that is correct. I like how you're counting down. What the hell is that? Oh, it's your Fallout thing. Yeah. No. Fallout. Ghostbusters. Fall Fallout Ghostbusters. I see. Gotcha. Don't you have you have a Fallout box too, though? Don't you like a lunch box or something? No. Why? Well, I, nope. I think I do. I don't know where it is. Thought you did. Okay, send it to you. Oh no, you sent it to me. I have it. <laughs> you kept the bobblehead. That's what it was. You're like, I sent you everything except the one thing you would probably really want from this collection, namely the bobblehead. I'm keeping yep. that. <laughs> you can have all this other crap that came with it that I don't care about. Like, okay. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. No, I actually do cherish that as a cool collectible. Fight to the death. Jason wins, of course. Well, of course, because Jason can't die. What if Jason went after the doctor? But can Jason travel through time and space? I don't know. Well, it's... It's Jason. He's very Jason-y. Jason S. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason. Gotta find Jason. <laughs> Castor. Why did I type Castor Valva? It's not Castor Valva. Why did you intentionally type that? Games of Androzani. 
looking forward to seeing this one again. I really like this one. It's very good. The crossover rabbit hole. While Jason did go into space... Hmm. Maybe he bumped into the Enterprise when Doctor Who crossed over with Star Trek and... <laughs> oh. Next thing they know... Jason is running amok on the Enterprise. <laughs> and then finds the TARDIS. And... And then... A Star Destroyer attacks them. And... <laughs> Then Captain Marvel shows up. Both of them. The one from DC and the one from Marvel. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not get crazy here. And then they find a planet with some aliens and predators on it. And then Jason is fighting aliens and predators. <laughs> uh it would be interesting nope. if the Doctor ended up on a world where the inhabitants have lost the ability to build anything. Damn, that would be dark. Why? They'd just be all living in caves and shit. So basically you say you want an episode that's just filmed entirely at the quarry. <laughs> yeah! Uber uh, Cyberborg Jason fucking uh. up Borg and Cyberman. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Yeah, okay. totally. That's the stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it, all right. We were commenting when we were watching the 1966 Batman movie earlier. There was a scene in which there was the uh, there was a cover of "Can't Help Falling in Love," and we were all mentioning, "Oh yeah, the Elvis song." Uh, randomly, in my recommended videos on YouTube, there's a video "Can't Help Falling in Love" Elvis cover by six year old. It's like this six year old Welcome little girl who. To social media. Yeah, but that wasn't. Like, me watching that movie wasn't on YouTube at all. Like, it was only mentioned here on Twitch. And it would be quite obscure to connect Batman the movie with that song. Like, You'd be surprised. randomly. Well, if that's the case and there is a connection, then that's just fucking scary. Fuck off, Big Brother. Seriously, just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop knowing me so well. Well, here's the thing, though. You may not realize it, you do, but <laughs> <laughs> you you signed a contract. Uh huh. With Facebook, with Twitter, and when you sign when you signed up for those fucking services, you signed a contract that says they can collect any and all data they want to. About oh my fucking god, power company! <laughs> Ugh, final disconnection notice. Two hundred bucks owing. Great. Yay. Well, guess I'll have to dip into the rent for that. This is just like a cycle. I just can't escape. You're not allowed. That's great. Final disconnection notice for your BC. Fuck off. Like, give me some breathing room. I just sent you guys a bunch of money last month. And now you want money this month, too? <laughs> but, I know. See, the money I sent the last month was supposed to be just enough to avoid the disconnection notice and to hold the wolves at bay a little bit. Apparently not enough. No, we want every last cent immediately. Sounds like a proper See, functioning business. Yeah, it's like I just I want to be making enough money that I can overpay those utility bills a little bit and actually get ahead instead of just hanging on by the seat of my pants and barely avoiding disconnection like every fucking month you know yep <sighs> I know uh -huh. yeah 
You're not quite there yet with the Twitch. I know. I have to stream more. 14 hours a day just isn't enough, apparently. Okay. I'll stream more then. 18 hours a day. Every day. Who needs sleep? <laughs> I'm going to go smoke. Thank you, PC Hydro. You ruined my fucking evening. Ugh. You're welcome. See, when I, when I put up the donation goals, it's not just a random goal. That's like literally, this is the money I need to live this month. So that's, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go smoke. I have spray. Spray which I will be using to unstinkify my room. Like that. Yeah, I think you are sensing correctly. Water and I get um, some stuff. And... <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh, back! Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, spasming stuff. about as good as I will ever be. Just to say that my back is fucked. <laughs> like, the muscles in my back are in so many knots that a sudden jolt like that just immediately sends them into convulsions and like they're all uh, spasming the second something like that happens I mean I literally bought a heated blanket to use as a heating pad every night that I go to bed because every fucking night I need to, like, relax the muscles of my back. That's how fucked my back is. That's how fucked my back is. Well. Yeah. Maybe not the chiropractor, but I mean, I did just pay a lot of money for my teeth. But, uh, even if I could, 
Don't you know that chiropractors aren't actual doctors? <laughs> Rather to say that a lot of people are that you can call yourself a chiropractor without actually having a medical degree. You know what I mean? Oh, right, my water. I'm really iffy about that stuff. So, Sean. What? Stop. Now that you know you have to dip into your rent, buddy. Yeah. You know you're going to be short for rent. Well, not necessarily. There's 16 days between now and the end of the month, so. And you have, that means you have time. Right? You have time. You've skipped to the part where you already realize you've got time. Yes. So time. You have time. He's on my what side. Are you gonna do with that time? What am I going to do with that time? <sighs> Stream like mad? <laughs> I was thinking now that you have time, you could try and sell some of your DVDs on eBay, the ones that you're planning to sell anyways, for more than a nickel apiece on eBay. Well, possibly. <laughs> the thing is, they're not like particularly high demand titles. So. Yeah, but if you have like fifty or a hundred DVDs, say, seriously, why am I over? Hold eBay, a second, why am I seventy dollars overdrawn all of a sudden? What the fuck happened? Oh, seriously, Money Mart, you couldn't wait until tomorrow. God damn it! Well, that's okay. Money's coming through tonight sometime, so. Fuck my life. Like, I got my Twitch payment today, so that's coming through. So that'll cover that overdraft before it's even like 9 a.m. probably. But, uh, I'm not worried about that. Still, it's another <sighs> overdraft fee, right? No, 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 not that one. It's okay. If it's cleared within 24 hours, I don't get hit with the fee. Because oh, okay. it covers it, so I'll be able to clear that. Uh, also... Uh, last month was a little bit more profitable on YouTube, so that will help a bit. Still doesn't put me over, but still, I still I still, still say under. you should sell some DVDs on. Oh, well, I, I'd love to, but then there's the there's still time factor. Like, I, uh, <laughs> I'll just take them downtown. I'll just take them downtown. Get the you know, hundred bucks or whatever I can get for them, and then whatever doesn't sell, I can put those up on eBay. You know, whatever they don't take. You can I can... at least start researching which ones are worth um, worth putting on. Well, that's eBay. true. That's true. I could do that because I've got quite a stack over there. That way, there. you know what to take to the, to sell for whatever, and then what to uh, what to keep and put on eBay. Yeah, that's a possibility. All right, it's okay. We got time. It's Sixteen days, and you we could can even do... record yourself going Stop. through that process. You could do that live on Twitch. That's true. Not, not record for a video, but for Twitch. I would assume that since uh, your brain fart, <laughs> <laughs> when did you put up that video of uh, your oh. review of Avengers? <laughs> My review of Avengers? That was like yeah. the middle of last month, I think. Um, and there was a noticeable boost. It wasn't okay. like a night and day difference, but it definitely made a difference in the total for the month. But you've been doing a lot more videos, so I'm like, well, yes. probably got getting more money this month too. Yes. So. Yeah. So, which is I, why I'm hoping that this month, by the end of this month, I'll have a little bit more from YouTube to help offset Twitch, or not offset, but add to Twitch. You know, 
that's the idea. I mean, that's one of the reasons. I mean, I know I don't, I don't make mega bucks on YouTube, but sometimes that extra hundred bucks that I get from pumping out a shit ton of videos makes a big difference, you know. So it's it's a hundred bucks I wouldn't otherwise get if I didn't crank out those videos, you know. And then I get whatever I get from you guys while I'm streaming on top of that, and it's you know it all adds up, right? So yeah. And hopefully it draws more people to uh, to the Twitches as well. So that's always nice. so come come to Twitch, people. Come to Twitch. It's where the action is. You can actually join us live for these. You know. Well, speaking of which, I need to put up uh, a couple more of our live viewings. Uh, let's see here. Come on, videos. So I have to make a couple more public here supposed to go up yesterday and I forgot I forgot about well, nobody is watching the fucking Batman gameplays it's depressing like should I even bother posting them on YouTube anymore like seriously is it making any difference Batman at all what? huh what Batman what the gameplays yeah I guess I'm not too surprised by that there's just nobody watching them it's like unless you're fucking already established as a yep. gamer, nobody watches them. Exactly. Okay, exactly. where the hell is... No, don't do that one yet. You have to be known or have a gimmick. Yeah, basically. What's my gimmick? I suck, apparently. That's my gimmick. Come and watch me make bad decisions in Telltale Games. And then get on my case about it. And then I will block you for being a dick. <laughs> okay. Logopolis. Public. Castrovelva. Public. You kind of known for... Uh... And Kinda public. Boom, boom, boom. Playthrough of Dead Space, you know, you were known for that. I know. It was but great. It just didn't carry through. No. It's unfortunate. I think honestly it's because it's a different focus. Yeah. And for whatever reason, people really do not like YouTube channels with more than one focus. I guess, yeah. I mean, the ones that seem... You have to have more than one YouTube channel if you're going to do more than Ugh. one. And now they're saying, we're going to help you consolidate all your YouTube channels. I, I don't want to. It doesn't help us because like that just proves that YouTube doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Because it's like... You uh, they're completely don't even understand out of touch. your own audience. You don't even no. understand the way people fucking use YouTube. Ugh. So stupid. Why do you think people are making separate channels? Because they know that people don't watch the same channel for the same fucking reasons. Some people watch the channel for this, and other people watch it for that. But if they see... Uh, if, you, if they see that your channel is... Okay. Say the words. <laughs> <laughs> if you are trying to be a gaming YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and you also have a bunch of videos talking about Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. people who are coming to your channel for gaming content mm -hmm. are going to see that, and they might assume, A, that... He's going to go to a completely different thing, doing only DVD and Blu-ray stuff now. Yeah. Or B, that <laughs> this is going to be a major focus, a main focus, and he's not going to do any more gaming stuff. Mm -hmm. Or C, he doesn't know what he wants to do with the channel, he can't make up his mind. You know, regardless, whatever the point, whatever the reason is, they're going to see that and they're going to think, for whatever stupid fucking reason, Yeah. well, I don't know if I should watch this guy anymore, he just can't make up his own mind, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, uh, for me, I mean, I, I, my my thing is I've always tried to be the multimedia guy. So that's 
you know, mm -hmm. collection collection updates, like stuff, new stuff I got for the collections, reviews, closer looks, uh, you know, retro videos of like old media that I've digitized and whatnot, um, and games, you know, and comic books. So it's in all different forms of media that I enjoy, yeah. and I'm putting all that on my channel. So I mean, it's. But you'll notice that some of that doesn't get well received. No, it a doesn't. lot of people who came to your channel for Blu-rays and DVDs don't like the fact that you do gaming videos. I know, and they complain loudly yeah. whenever I post and then they one. Leave your channel, and it's like, as shitty as those people are, they could be giving you ad sets. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. It's annoying. And so it's just like, if only there was a way that you could. Do all the things that you want to do yeah. with your channel without having to worry about people getting all up in a tiss, whatever. That uh, tissy is what I was gonna say. In live stream on Instagram, yeah, I really need to get an Instagram account. Um, that seems to be the big one to have right now, at least even only, if only for cross promotion. Um, I tried to get one, but they're really sticky about you needing a mobile number, so. I tried to get one through, like, one of those uh, mobile number app things that lets you receive and send text messages because you get your own number. But for whatever reason, Instagram wouldn't send the text, like the confirmation text to it. So I was like, well, great. That doesn't help me. I just need to confirm the fucking account, and then I can be up and running on Instagram, you know? Such a pain in the ass. So... You, yeah, mobile number. Where basically it uh, it sends as part of the registration process or the confirmation process, it's uh, they send you a text like a confirmation number via text message, and then you enter that in, and then that confirms your account and it becomes active. So I got as far as doing all the stuff to start an account, and I can't get the fucking text message because I don't have a mobile service. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they don't do that anymore, worm disease. Now it's strictly mobile number and nothing else. So, yeah, I think that it's fairly new that they implemented that. Uh, what what irritates me is that they don't have any alternatives. Like, most social media sites have alternatives. It's like, oh, don't have a mobile number? Well, click here to get a confirmation through email. Or click here to use a third-party authorization app like Authy. You know, like Twitch uses Authy for their two-factor identification. Something like that I could do, because it's all app-based. But, uh... Yeah, prepaid mobile, that's a possibility. Something like that. I was thinking of maybe getting something like that anyway. I mean, really, I just need a SIM card with some kind of service on it and a phone number. And then I can have that whole world of account confirmation open oh. to me. <laughs> A whole bunch of Doctor Who live viewing just went live. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Did they just flood Discord? Oh, yeah. Well, I noticed, uh, I, I had forgotten that we'd live streamed since Tom Baker's last story, Legopolis. And, uh, I hadn't posted any of those. Because that was before the big break. So we did those, and then I disappeared off the internet for several months. And then uh, when I came back with the new computer, we started them up again. So I only posted the newer ones. I forgot about these three that were where we started live streaming them. So, uh, oh, I should post those, and then it's kind of caught up. <clears throat> so there we go. So those are all live. Live and direct on network 23 and by the way michelle day of the triffids is awesome um i don't know which version you're watching there's a few different ones my favorite is the old 1981 bbc version which uh, i'm going to show the guys here at some point i'm going to watch that it's good stuff that people's old mobiles <laughs> yeah did you make me do that on sunday oh weird i don't know i have no idea Mobile numbers for resetting passwords. Is, oh, you know what? I think it might be because I created an Instagram account a long time ago. And I had to log in again to reactivate it. It had been sitting idle for too long. 
So they had to reconfirm me, and that's why they needed the mobile number. So, something like that. And it was weird, because when I logged into it, it showed that some... It looked like some other person was using the account for something, but all the confirmation stuff was coming to my email. So, I don't know. Yep, was, somebody stole your account. Somebody, something weird. So anyway, I should be able to reclaim that if I can get them to send me the damn text message. So... I don't know. There was a couple of other apps that were recommended to me for the same purpose, so I'll, uh, I'll give those a try and see if I can get it going again. They might have had the, uh, the if oh, the 2000. Account, they might have been trying to send the text to the, to the person who stole your account. Oh, maybe. You maybe. Well, no, because you have to enter in a mobile number. Like, it asked uh -huh. for a mobile number, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, Michelle, the, uh, this one here, I have this one too. I have it on the Blu-ray. Yeah, I grabbed this when it came out. I hadn't seen it. I just grabbed it because I love Day of the Trip. It's just the story, generally. They changed a lot of things in the 2009 version that I didn't really care for, but uh, so I still prefer the 81 version, but 2009 is pretty good. It's got some good stuff in it. There is. That's of the 2009 version specifically, Worm Disease. The 1981 version is only on DVD. It's so oh, boy. Messy. Feel better? So Holy shit, he's back. <laughs> you ever do one of those poops where you're like, you poop, and like, oh, I'm done. And you're like clean, and you're cleaning up, and you flush, and you're about to go, and suddenly you're like gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm not done at all. Here comes the second worst way. Yes. Ah, that's what happened. Here, hold on to the toilet seat. I almost looked it off. Oh. You know, it was bad <laughs> Rocketing bad into the toilet. Yes. Yeah. But I'm queued up and ready for the next one. So you want to restart the stream and do your all right. Thing. Just gonna restart the stream real quick, everybody. See you in a matter of seconds. All right, here we go. Three phases. 